Let's draw a windmill. With the rectangle tool, we'll start drawing a single blade. Center it. Use the direct select tool to create an angle at the top, also thinner at the bottom. Next, draw the piece that connects it. Center it. Select them both and group them. Using the rotate tool, click below the blade to define the anchor point while holding option. Type 360 for 360 degrees divided by 12. Command D. As you pace now, it'll rotate around your anchor point. Select all and group. Let's fill in the middle with a circle. Make a copy of the circle and swap the stroke in the fill. We can group that and move it out of the way. Now let's make the metal frame. Using the line tool, make a line at a 45 degree angle. Duplicate it and rotate it. Duplicate the set so you have two X's stacked. Connect the tops and connect the middles. Make two somewhat close together, attached to the left side. Duplicate it and attach to the right side. Group it. Under Effect, Distort and Transform, select Free Distort. Move the top corners closer, and also the bottoms a little closer. Make it black. To change the color for the whole thing, we'll need to outline the stroke. Object, Path, Outline Stroke. Convert to shape using Unite in the Pathfinder panel. Use the eyedropper and change it to gray. Attach the top to the metal frame. Select all and group it. Move it to the center. Lastly, create one more blade for direction. About the same as the original. Connect it with a rectangle. Use the direct select tool to adjust the size. Make it slightly bigger. That's how you can make a windmill in Illustrator. If you like this, please subscribe for future uploads.